hi guys welcome back to the channel today my name is usetale and this is a fashion channel where i share pattern drafting tutorial videos on how to cut and sew and some fashion related kind of content so if this is the first time you are seeing any of our videos you are especially welcome on today's video i'm going to be sharing with you guys how i made this beautiful reversible bralette top i'm going to be sharing with you how i cut it and from there we go straight to the sewing process if that's something you are interested in seeing then you have to keep watching this video and let's get started welcome back guys these are the two fabrics i'm going to be using for this tutorial i'll be using the african print as the actual fabric and i'll be using the black as the lining these are the measurements that is required we have from the chest line to the under bust eight inches the mid chest to the side bust eight inches as well and we have the round under bust measurement to be 29 inches right now i'm just going to open up my fabric and i will go ahead to start the cutting so guys after opening up your fabric you are just going to fold it together like this you are going to fold your fabric into two together like this guys right now i'm just going to cut out this part you know our measurements from the chest line to the under bust we have eight inches i'm going to be adding extra one inch for the sewing allowance so i'm going to measure nine inches then i'll come to this side and measure the same nine inches guys then i'm going to roll the line you know also our mid chest to the side bust is as well eight inches so right now i'm just going to be cutting out nine inches square i'm just going to measure nine inches there my measure nine inches here again then i will rule the line so right now guys i'm just going to cut this out so what i have right now is nine inches square so that's what i have right now so guys i'll just mark out the wrong face so that we won't mess it up while we are sewing Right now, after cutting out these two pieces, I'm just going to place it aside. Then I will go ahead to cut out the band. I will be using the underboss measurement to cut out the band, and the band will be um, as um, five inches wide. So it is 29 inches long by five inches wide. That's what I have for the band, guys. So right now, I'm just going to be using this actual fabric to cut exactly the same thing for the lining. This is what I have when I was done cutting it, guys. I have exactly the same thing as the lining. Right now, I'm just going to place them aside and I will bring the wadding that I'm going to be gumming to the actual fabric to make it thick. So I'm just going to iron the wadding to the actual fabric, then I will cut it out. I'll do it to the other piece as well. So this is what I have after I was done ironing the wadding to the two pieces right now guys we are just going to go ahead and put these two pieces together like this you see you're just going to place the two pieces together like this then you are going to fold it in like a triangle you're just going to take the two ends there and you fold it in like a triangle and iron it out guys it is very very easy so after folding it in like this you take this part and you will fold it in again like this guys just pay attention so that you know exactly what i'm doing here you also iron it out so guys after ironing it out i'm going to cut out that part i'm just going to cut out this part so this is what i have when i cut out that part guys you can see we have sharp edge here we do not need any sharp edge so i'm going to be using the curve roller to curve out that sharp edge so you're just going to place it and then align it well so you'll be able to cover the sharp edge i'm just going to mark out the sharp edge now then i'll go ahead to cut it off You see guys this is what you are going to have after curving out the sharp edge right now i'm going to be using this actual fabric to cut exactly the same thing for the lining you can see what we have guys i have cut out exactly the same thing for the lining right now i'm going to take this actual fabric and i'm going to start sewing 
I'm going to take it to the sewing machine and I'm going to run a stitch on it. I'm just going to join it together using half inch. I will do the same thing to the other piece and I will do exactly the same thing to the lining pieces. This is what I have after I was done joining in guys, as you can see. Right now, I'm just going to open it up like this and I will iron the seam flat. So I'm just going to use the ball to iron out the seam. So you're just going to open up the seam like this and you will iron it out. So guys you can see guys this is what i have after i was done ironing it is looking really really nice right so i'm going to do exactly the same thing now to all the other pieces this is what i have when i was done ironing all the pieces guys you see i'm just going to place these pieces aside then i'll bring this rope that i cut out i'm just going to be folding it i'll take it to the sewing machine guys and i'll just fold it in like this then i will i will sew it down i'm going to be using this for the strap so guys this is what i have after i was done folding it you see right now i'm going to bring back the cups and i will take the actual fabric like this and i will Put the lining that belongs to it so right now i'm just going to take one of the rope then i'm going to put it together with the lining the right sides facing each other just the way you see me doing it guys then you're going to pin it down you see guys after pinning it down guys i'm just also going to pin down this part and the other side you're just going to pin everything together So guys this is what i have after i was not pinning it guys i'm going to do exactly now the same thing to this other piece then i will take it to the sewing machine and sew it down this is what i have after i was done sewing it guys i'm just going to flip it over now for you to see how it is looking you see guys the cups are already forming this is what I have after I was done ironing it. You see how it looks so nice, guys. So when I'm just going to place these two cups aside, then we'll work on the band. I'm going to bring the band piece and I'm just going to fold it together. I'm just going to fold it together like this and I'll make a notch at the middle. I'm just going to make a notch at the center. So after making the notch, guys, I'm going to bring the cups, then I'll place it on it like this i'm just going to place the cups on it like this and you are going to be leaving a gap of about half inch guys then you're going to place it right now i'm just going to pin this cup to the band you see guys i'm just going to pin the cups to the band just the way you see me doing it like this then i will do the same thing to the other side as well so this is what i have after i was done pinning the two cups to the band right now i'm going to take it to the sewing machine and i will run a stitch on it this is what i have guys after i was done running the stitch you see guys i decided to close up this half inch i say we should leave earlier right now i'm going to bring the lining for the band and i'll be placing it on it like this the right sides facing each other and i'll go to the sewing machine and sew it this is what i have after i was done sewing guys you can see i've joined the lining to the actual fabric and this is how it is looking right now i'm going to put the cups inside of it like this guys you see what i'm doing just make sure you arrange the cups inside and you're going to bring the lining piece and cover it up like this then you are going to use your pin to pin it all to the end you're just gonna pin it till you get to the end guys so guys after pinning it now i'm going to take it into the sewing machine and i will sew it down i'm just going to join it using half inch this is what i have after i was done joining guys this is the opening i left where i'm going to turn it out so i'm just going to turn it out now so you guys will see how it is looking you see you see no seam is showing this is the 
reason why it is a reversible top you're not going to see where we are joining it at all so guys this is what i have after i was done turning and ironing it right now it's time for me to take the measurements you know our underboss measurement is 29 inches so guys i'm just going to fold it together like this you see i currently have 30 inches here but because i've decided to put a loop i'm just going to be cutting off two inches i'm going to be cutting off two inches i'll just mark my two inches now and i'm going to cut it off in order for me to put a loop on this top so right now after cutting out the two inches i'm going to bring a rope that i've already fold and i'm going to measure two inches and cut it out so i'm just going to use that to cut out as many as i can So guys this is what i have after i was done cutting them out right now it's time for me to work on where i will put in the loop i'm going to take my fabric and i'll fold it in like this you guys you can see what i'm doing you're just going to fold your fabric in like that then you are going to pin it down then you do the same thing to this other end you fold it in and you make sure you you put your fabric inside like that then you are going to pin it down then after pinning it guys you're just going to iron it flat you use your iron and iron it flat so that it can be flat so to be able to put the loop so after ironing it flat like this you're going to remove the pins you see guys now it is very flat now I'll bring one of the uh, loop I have so i'm going to fold it together like that and place it inside and pin it down i will do this till i get to the end just bring another one you fold it together you place it inside and pin so at the end of the day guys i was able to put four loop case so i'll do the same thing to this other side this is what i have after i was done doing the same thing to the other side guys right now i'm going to take it to the sewing machine and i will sew it down two times i will do the same thing to this other side this is what i have guys after i was done sewing you can see i have secured the loop inside like that right now guys i also have a rope that i have already fold you see this is the rope i'm going to be using to lace it so i'm just going to place it inside like this then i will lace it up So guys this is what i have after i was done lacing you can see guys we are done with this tutorial the top came out so nice you see how the lace is looking so pretty right so guys right now i'm just going to turn it for you to see the finished look i'm going to tie this together like this so this is the finished look of it guys it is looking so nice right guys as i said it is a reversible top so you can either flip it to the back like this and you can also wear it the black part so it's either you wear it the printed part or you wear it the black part so guys this is it let me know if you are going to be trying out this tutorial if you are going to be making something like this for yourself and also let me know if this tutorial was easy to understand in the comment section if you have questions you can also drop them in the comment section please don't forget to like subscribe and share this video thank you guys for watching see you in our next video bye bye